I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You do not go outside. I know you do not come out here. You don't come out to enjoy the sun. Look, this sun is here for everybody. You come and enjoy them. You don't come out on your bike now. You are not getting the vitamin D. I'm I'm so much I have so much more vitamin D than you. And that's just gonna help everywhere. Look, literally, even it's winter right now. This is a minute away from my house. Maybe not a minute, a bit more than a minute on my bike. Look, I'm on my bike right now. You get outside. I don't care what you're doing right now. Go outside. Even if, it, if you're super busy, you're about to go somewhere. Stand outside your garden for two minutes. And if you're not busy, do not go outside for just two minutes. You walk or run or ride your bike, whatever ability you have to move, get out there. You don't have a single excuse. Come message me, I will I will get rid of any excuse you have. Get out there, man. It's gonna massively benefit you in so many ways. It's gonna improve your mood. Like, think about it. You really think, what's well, gonna be better for your mental health? You're out here in the forest. Look, can you hear the birds chirping? Look, I'll, start, I'll shut up for a little second. You can hear them. You think that's gonna be good for your mental health? Or do you think staring at a screen, going, oh, what business should I, or not even what business? But if you're still playing video games, what are you doing? Get outside right now. This is where everybody who's gonna be future millionaire, or billionaire at that point who's gonna actually not be fat and sat on their lazy ass all day they're gonna be out here they're gonna enjoy life but even if you're already on self improvement you still can get out more I know you can because I know some people they sit all inside all day and they go what business shall I go on what's my next plan oh no what do I oh no Where's all the day gone? I've been focusing all on my business. I haven't been outside at all. I haven't worked out. What are they doing? This is something I care very passionately about. I know basically nobody who properly goes outside. The only people I know are the people, like my parents, who go in races and running and go out actually outside, running and cycling. And they've only just started that in the past, like since lockdown. It's not been that long. And look, I'm out here now. I know maybe, I think in my school, I know probably at most five people who actually go outside. And I'm overestimating that. You need to get outside, man. Like, I don't know how I can stress this enough. If you're not outside, what, like, what are you gonna do with your life? You're gonna sit all day. Like, think about your way, your normal day at school. You wake up, you're going downstairs, you're all still inside at this point, you get ready, you say you're going to school. Most people are getting a lift to school. They don't even, they maybe get 30 seconds of sunlight. They come outside, they get 30 seconds of sunlight into their eyes. What is that going to like? As a caveman, you're supposed to be, they were outside all the time. No matter what, they're outside. And being inside is rare. No treat. And our bodies haven't adapted much since then. We might be slightly smarter in the way we like forage for food or something. We might be slightly smarter for that, but we haven't changed much. So our bodies, I think, we should be outside all the time. Now I don't care what, like, look, some normal trainers, some, these are waterproof trousers and a waterproof coat. Look, I've got a normal shirt on under this. You can get outside no matter where your situation is right now. Look, I've got a bike and I'm extremely grateful for that. Because if you like, I've got my bike here. I've got my nice helmet. But if you don't have any of this, it's not an, it's not an excuse. Get out here right now. I don't care what you're doing. Go outside. Get that sun into your eyes. Just get it into your eyes and you'll immediately feel better. Look, like, this sounds of water here. This isn't even proper nature as well. This is just urban. But I'm still so forever grateful for it. Instead of being sat in the in Fortnite all day. Like, think about it. Who, how many people do you actually know who are spending maybe an hour a day outside? How many? And I'm not just talking about your breaks or lunch at school. I'm talking about when you get home, in your own choice, are you outside? Because if you're not, I really, really hope you do. Because if you're not outside, 
your life is going to be ruined. You're literally wasting your life. I bet you feel at the moment your life's going past too fast. Like, where's the time to actually enjoy it? You're not enjoying it because you're spending the whole time out, not not outside. If you spend it outside, you would be enjoying it. You should be spending it outside, not inside. Because one of my goals is to spend more time outside than I am inside. Oh, I'll tap on my phone here. But I know this is an unrealistic goal, but I'm still going to work to hit it. Because I'm spending too long indoors going, well, how can I make money? How can I make money? That's not what I want to aim for. In my dream life, I'd be outside most of the day. All day. I'd only come in to eat and sleep. Maybe not even eat sometimes. I'll come out here when it's raining. I'll probably show a photo of when it's raining. And I'll still be here. But bro, just get outside. You don't need anything special. Everybody has access to it. And I don't care. You've got some excuse, man. Like, there is something in your brain going, I, I, but what about the, but what about my once a week, I've got to go to the shops to get something. Or, I don't, I can't think of an excuse. Like, once a week, I have a guitar lesson. Or once a week, I've got to go to Scouts. You've still got time for this. Like, everybody can fit it in, even if it's just, um, say you walk to school, or you walk back from school, or you cycle to school. You do something that's just not getting picked up in the car. If you do get picked up in the car, walk for once. As long as your school's not 20 miles each way, you can walk. And then, on the way back, maybe just choose a longer route through a local woods. Now you can just go, literally go onto Google Maps right now and just go to your area, find a spot, just look for the green on there, it's not that hard, you've got all the grey areas with all the roads, all the pollution and everything, and there's green, even this one, it's pretty big, but it's still an urban area, like there is houses over there, I'm not going to show you because you can probably find out where I live, but look, you can see a fence there, that is still... It's still better be outside than just sat inside going, hmm, what's the weather like today? I don't know, I'm not going to go outside anyway. There should be no reason for you to not go outside. Personally message me, find me on school or Discord or something. Find, message me on YouTube, I think you could do that. Tell me your excuse and I will find the reason not to do it. Like, not... I would discredit your... Discredit is that word? Probably. I could discredit your excuse right now. And I really hope this has helped you, because get outside. Even if this is just for motivation to get outside, at least you're outside once. Get outside once, then go outside maybe next week. And then two week, two days a week after that, three days a week, and four. Until you're out here every day, you're enjoying your life. You're not going to enjoy your life sat in so So I genuinely hope this has helped you. I genuinely do. And thank you for watching. As well. But if you want, I can give you accountability and everything like that. Even if you don't know me, I'll get to know you. I'll know every problem you have and I will help fix that. Please look in the description for my mentorship and thank you.